Totally killed this makeup look. Come on now. No blending. I did it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the messy bun action going on. So today I'm going to be doing a full face without blending challenge, which is a fail. It's an automatic fail. It's just fun to see people try this, I guess. I, I, I don't know. But if you wanna see how I tackle this challenge, then let's get into the video. But before that, if you liked videos like this, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And uh, let's get right into it. So my face is already moisturized, um, so I'm ready to just jump into the makeup. Like, let's go. Oh, and the first person I, I saw um, do this was, oh, his name was Makeup by Michael Finch. So yeah, that's who I first saw to do this video, and I was like, I'm about to do this because this seems interesting. I typically use my Dip Brow Pomade, so that's what I'm gonna use by Anastasia, and an angled brush. Um, so I'm gonna fill my eyebrows in, but I'm not gonna blend. I'm just gonna do the lines under, which I typically don't really blend anyway, except for right in the front. So <laughs> we shall see. So all I'm doing is drawing a line under my brow to shape it. Then I just fill it in like this. I guess that's blending, so I'm not gonna blend that out. Um, and then I'm gonna do my line on top of my brow to shape that. Oh, using the spoolie would be blending? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Um, okay, that's all I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna brush this out. I typically use my spoolie to blend, so I'm just not gonna use my spoolie, except for initially like combing my hairs out. We'll see how this goes, but I feel like blending is what takes the longest time blending anything, your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, your face makeup, anything is what takes the longest time when doing your makeup. Like that takes the majority of the time, I feel like. It's like 80% blending, 20% applying makeup. So we'll see if this makeup application is faster than a regular makeup application. These days, I don't know how to talk to you. Man, I just wanna fill that in. All right, so I'm not gonna fill that in because usually that's blending. I'm brushing my, you know, the rest of the, product into the beginning of my brows so makeup forever camouflage cream palette in number one i always use this to conceal my eyebrows you guys know so i'm just gonna outline my eyebrow all right dang it my see my like autopilot is to just go and start blending that out but i mean that's not possible at this point i don't even know why i'm trying to make it neat because at the end of the day as i said this should be renamed to like watch me fail without blending challenge because there's no way if there's a way i'd like to see it i'm telling you like i really would an amazing makeup application without blending like top notch make makeup application without blending that's what i want to see all right <laughs> Okay, so this is how I have to leave my eyebrows because I can't blend it out. So this is fun, right? Okay, so for foundation. For foundation, I'm gonna use my, I haven't used this in forever. Okay, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless, and I am in the shade 238 Rich Tan. Oh my God. I'm not gonna use my beauty blender. Ooh, or a brush. <laughs> All right, we're Chelsea, we Chelsea. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply this in the best way that I can so that maybe I don't need to blend. Am I cheating, guys? Am I? <laughs> I'm gonna just slap this on, okay? I'm trying to get it everywhere though, cause, all right. Oh my God. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use regular concealer brush, BH Cosmetics. I'm not trying to blend. I'm just trying to put it everywhere. Wow, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm also gonna use this to prime my eyelid. I mean, at this point, this is what I look like. And I know I'm not zoomed in, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in at the end. So to set my concealer and my whole face, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Powder Foundation in the shade Medium 30. And it looks like this. So let me go back to <laughs> blending. Oh wait, not blending, Kendra. I'm just gonna set, you guys You guys see what I'm doing. After this, I'm just gonna take a big fluffy powder brush and set my entire face. I'm also setting my eyelids since I have foundation on there too. All right, so that's it. To bronze up my skin, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Powder Foundation in the shade W8. You can see I hit pan, I'm gonna buy a new one. 
Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, so now I'm gonna contour with, but I'm gonna use my shade on my contour palette. I mean, I guess I could do that. That doesn't count as blending, right? I don't typically use blush. I'm sure you guys can see that from my tutorials. I don't typically use blush, but for the heck of it, because I wanna see how I do this, I'm gonna use blush today. This one is from Rebecca Stella, and it's in the shade Misty Rose, and I think it's called You Make Me Blush. Um, but I'm gonna use that same brush that I use to bronze up my face. To highlight, I'm gonna use my J Cat Beauty You Glow Girl Bake Highlighter in the shade Moonlight. I'm gonna take a fan brush, and again, same as contour, I feel like going like this is blending it, so I think I'm gonna just pat it on my face instead of blending it in. This is like clown makeup. I'm still trying to get my highlight on fleek though, because... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I need to. I'm really at a loss for words on what I'm using a blending brush, but I can't blend with it. So whatever. I'm just gonna use this palette by Rebecca Stella. And this is the squad palette. I love this palette. You can't go wrong. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. The only thing is that it doesn't have a mirror, but um, so I'm just gonna pat this in my eyelid. I mean in my crease. In my eyelid. I'm not gonna blend it. But the beauty of a blending brush is that even though I'm not really blending, it's still kind of blending. Not really. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flat shader brush and this, what is this? Glitter Single Shadow. It's for face and body and it is by Wet n Wild. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna just pack that on my lid. Let me just pack it on. I'm trying to strategically pack it on. All right, so that's my eyes. And I'm gonna move on to mascara. Oh my God, I don't even have foundation like right here. Oh, I just put my eyes. All right, moving on to lip. I'm over my eyes right now. So for lips, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my MAC lipstick and this is the Viva Glam Lipstick Taraji P. Henson. I love you. I love Taraji. My boyfriend bought me this as a surprise and I was like, oh, look how beautiful. MAC knows what they're doing with their collaborations, okay? But anyway, look how pretty this pink is. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna use that on my lips. Mmm, this color. And then I'm gonna use the another MAC lipstick called Pick Me, Pick Me, and it is a frost. So it's purple. It has some other lipstick on there because I use it. It's like a purple, but it's like shimmer. There's no really like tint to it. So I'm just gonna use this right in the center, which is why you use this lipstick. And at the top, and you can see it adds like a really nice sheen. I mean, if I could blend it out, it looked look better, but I can't. So it's just staying like this. All right, so, okay, so for the looks of it, this is it. I think this makeup took me about 25 minutes maybe. So as I said, I usually take about an hour to do my makeup if I were blending and really caring about what I'm doing and, and creating my artwork. But you know, I'm telling you, 20% of it is just applying makeup, the 80% is blending. So that's what we didn't do. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the results and you can see what I'm working with. Okay, so <laughs> This is what I'm working with this Totally killed this makeup look come on now no blending I did it. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the results, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? If you guys wanna see more makeup challenges like this, then comment down below, let me know what challenges you guys want to see, let me know what videos you guys want to see, and let's get this video to a thousand likes. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.